Great, what's his length? Approximately 36. I'm going to tag him now. Okay, wait a sec. Let me tune it in. If I get lucky, maybe I can find number 12 before sunset. Okay, I'm going to head back now. I'll see you later. Thank you. 
time is it? Half by after three. Are you having problems? No. Just got a couple of new snakes. Why, are you waiting? Not very long. Evans is thinking the lag time in the other unit. Can't we make it better? They use something besides chocolate. We get vanilla next week. It's been ordered. Hey, Issa, your sister got here. Karen, where is she? She was in your father's office. I'll see ya. Evan, I need six more tractors. Where are they? Tomorrow? I really need them. I'll see what I can do. Do you know your sister got here? Yeah. Hi, where's Karen? Lewis has her. He's removing her braces. What'd she look like? Lovely. How's her head? I think she's gonna be all right. I haven't told her anything about the project yet. Decided to leave that to you. Thanks, chicken. Jess and I have to fly to Denver this afternoon in about an hour. We've got somebody going crackers over us down there. Nothing that won't blow over. They know anything? No, it's the same as before. This one's from Washington, though. We may have to give him a tour. Not again. Well, he doesn't sound too smart. But he is asking some uncomfortable questions. I'll be back Monday. I'll alert Lewis by phone if uh, he's going to come back with us. Yeah, well, as long as everybody knows ahead of time. In the morning, it might be a good idea to drive by the lava. Show her what it's like before she has to transfer into it. Should I tell her everything? Yeah. But go easy on the theories and tell Cleveland to cool it with his horror stories until she gets used to the whole thing. Don't do that. She can have room uh, 27. Show her around. Make sure she understands exactly who's clear and who isn't on security, just like you did with Judy. I'll see you later. We've got your sister. Lewis is yanking her braces. I heard. Who's this? This Jennifer? Uh-huh. It's a hairline fracture, but it's not so bad. So how is she? She's all right. She has to stick to those crutches for a couple of weeks, but she can transfer. Here? As soon as I can get this hardware out of here, she'll be real natural. How you doing? Really good. Sure you know how to do this, huh? I think so. You had a transfer this afternoon, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Got some new snakes. That's an 84. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Lewis is nice. Yeah, he and Dad have worked together for almost two years now. But how did this Jennifer chick wreck her foot? Oh, she was horsing around with Arthur out in the lavas. The guy with the blonde hair, the one I met? He's really cute, you know? Daddy says he's a genius. Yeah, he knows a lot about zoology and mammals. See, all the kids in the project are highly trained, like scientists, you know? Jennifer, she's a full-fledged botanist at 16. Does he sort of like her or something? Yeah, pretty close. Everything looks about the same. There are lots of subtle differences. They're mostly biological. Like in the reptiles you can help me with. The month is August. I think. Late August by the stars. Why didn't it be September by now? Can't remember. See, but the weather isn't too different. It's starting to get a little cold, though. <clears throat> but the tree rings will tell us more there. Well, like, who knows all about this? Nobody. Nobody outside the project. Not even the government. Will they even suspect? Nope. They still think we're working on material projection. They don't know anything about the time bit. That's why Daddy has to play tricks. If any of the creeps ask questions, we just give them a phony tour. See, Dad and Lewis are trying to get it together to secretly transfer a lot of young people into the future. 
bypass the echo crisis or whatever it is. Start a new civilization. Daddy can't come, huh? Uh-uh. Something to do with the kidneys. Lewis says it's curtains for anybody much over 20 to try it. Don't say anything to him about it, okay? I won't. Did you get in any romances at the clinic? No. It's too much trouble to get very close to anybody there. Still a virgin? No, I thought they told you about that. I got raped. Happened in a couple of months after I got to the clinic by this guy named Paul. I don't know, I never really thought about him much until he did it. So, packed Paul off to another clinic. Never heard from him again. What about you? Uh, I guess I sort of like being alone a lot. square miles of that stuff on the Snake River Plain. The last of it bubbled up at the time of Christ. See, in the present time sense, the units are in the project building where you were yesterday. Uh-huh. When we transfer this afternoon, we'll end up out there someplace, about 10 feet under the surface of the lava. Only it'll be 56 years later. And there's nobody left? Well, Cleve and I went down to Aberdeen in American Falls, and it was all abandoned. Couldn't get anything on any of the radio bands. And didn't sight any air traffic. Afternoon, ladies. Hi. What if you'd be so kind to give us a ride? Sure. Yeah, we're just going 10 miles down the road. All right. Let's get on out of here. You guys picked us up. Me and my lady are starting to get warm out there. Where are y'all going to? We're going to a festival. Denver. What are you doing up here in Idaho? Well, it hasn't started yet. In about another couple of three weeks. And then we'll shoot on over and see what's going on. We've just been sleeping out, digging the stars and trees, and having a fine old time. We just gypsies. We ain't got a care in the world. You guys gonna meet at the festival, huh? Oh, yeah. We keep up big. As soon as you get in, rule number one, lock the door. And rule number two, take off your clothes. Sounds familiar. Ooh, these pants are a bitch. Why do we have to wear this stuff anyway? Oh, they're good in the lavas. You'll see when we get there. You can't wear anything heavy or anything with zippers. Nothing metallic. Cleve left his sunglasses on once. When he transferred, almost ripped his ears off. Okay, never ever try to transfer anything more than this. Socks are okay, though. Understand? Come on. Okay, this is a transfer set. Is it okay to sign it? Sure. 
in this, I don't like it, is a material projection compartment. Use your pants and jacket. Close it and make sure it's locked. Now this is the transfer control unit. The white lights are always on. That indicates that the unit has power. These are the activating switches that are thrown in sequence. And then you wait for the corresponding lights to come on. And that means that the unit has been phased or it's ready to go. This is the transfer bar. Just need to press it lightly, but you'll see when I do it, okay? Okay. This red line here, this is the danger line. Anything inside this has to be secured to the transfer grid. Can't be anything loose. Over here, that's the power switch to our main reactor. And over here, Karen, behind these panels are all the adjustment rods. They're used to keep each unit in tune with the other. They control the lag time and the extent of penetration into the future. See, we keep them constant because they're extremely sensitive. Evans has to tune them every few days. It's not like you sit down and dial a date, you know? Okay, sit here. Like that? Yeah, straddle. Move up a little. Okay. Now, don't touch anything. And you can put your hands to your knees and keep them there. And relax. Where's the building? We're 11 miles away from it. It's over there. Only there's not much left of it. Tore it down for some reason. Think you'll ever have any kids? Mm, if we all transfer permanently, I'll try. I'm not sure who will, though. Probably Cleve. We just have to get more people. You can't start civilizations with just 12 people. You know, I was tempted to kidnap that couple we picked up on the road this morning. Why didn't we? I mean, why didn't we ask them to come with us? Uh, too dangerous to security. And everything isn't well enough organized yet. It might be in a few weeks, not now. I wonder how long they'll live. The hitchhikers? I'm trying not to think of them. They don't matter anymore. You know, I think I like it here. Yeah, I like it here, too. It's peaceful. Nobody trying to wreck anybody else, except those who have to, to get along, like the flies and the lizards and the gopher snakes. The stuff that's beautiful, you know? I used to have nightmares that looked like this. I mean, they were beautiful nightmares. I suppose it doesn't make any sense, does it? What you said about how we're the only ones now. I mean, if everybody else did die, some people would be afraid in our position alone and all. I don't know. I think it's sort of nice. Like you just said, nobody's out to get anybody else. I could just fall asleep in the sun. Wouldn't have to worry about anybody. Well, who are you afraid of? Most of all? Everybody, I guess. Mm, damn it, number four has run out on us. You who, number four? Just leave it blank. Number five. 
is 62.2. Mommy on our way back, checking in for number four. Okay. What's his length? Number four? Yeah. 18 inches. Oh, probably got himself swallowed. By what? One of his friends. How far is this one? About a quarter mile. Getting tired? No, not really. Isa? Isa, are you okay? Help me out of here. Isa? I think we better transfer. Here, later. Fresh from Arkow. And another letter from your father. I couldn't bring any root beer this time. haven't opened any of them? Hey, I 
thought you decided to talk. You know, it would really help if you could tell me if there's anything you want. I mean, other than the junk in your room, I'm not really sure. I'd like a piano. I think you should read your father's letters. It's not fair. I wonder what a piano would sound like out here. You know he's concerned about you. Why don't you just write him a note or something? All right, love. She's being a bitch again. She's not even opening the letters. Wasn't that a damned one? Just don't push me. You know, you might not have much more time to sit around and think about yourself. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm just blank. Well, it's getting kind of close on the other side these days. George, that's your father. He's having a tough time of it. Karen is blank. Dear Karen. I'm going for a walk. Why don't you just tear him up instead of keeping him around? Hey, man, we forgot about Clyde. Clyde? Oh, yeah, we can't forget about Clyde. Is there a pet Can we go back and get it? I guess so. going to post guards and suspend the entire project by tomorrow. The townies were sent home after lunch and told not to return in the morning. I think it's all over with. Do you think they're on to us? Mm -mm. What about the units? They can't touch the main from the reactor station. We got the power. For a while. I don't understand it. Arthur drove Jen into Arco this morning. Nobody said a word. What about Lewis and Nora? Split. Disappeared. George doesn't have the slightest idea where they can be. But he said a couple of agents picked up Evans in town this morning. Said they were flying him to Denver for questioning, whatever that means. Lewis, what are you doing here? Hello, little Oh, take this. Nora should be coming to number one. I saw some people I didn't recognize this morning, and they didn't look too friendly. Yo, we know something is going on, that's all. So if you decide to stay, what you gotta do is get yourself out of this damn desert before the snows come. Where are you going to this? In my room. I'll need those and a list of all the rooms that contain survival equipment. No problem. All right. Did Mike and Leslie be here this morning? Yeah. Um, he said he was about 12 miles away, and he should be in by sunset. Yeah, what about Karen? She went for a walk. Okay. Hey, let's try for those lists. What happens if somebody gets caught? I don't know. What about you? What do you mean? You shouldn't have come. I always wanted to try it, mate. How long will you last? What about Nora? Well, she might make it. She knew the risk. She decided. 
They're gone. Hello? This is Karen Braden. Would you please connect me with my father? My father, George Braden. I... Jesus Christ, can't you just... We've got someone on the inside. I think in the main project area. In the main area? Yeah.
Too cold. Hey, Arthur. What do you think it is? I'm not entirely sure, but the unit's completely out. The ready lights don't even come on. Did you check, too? Yeah, it's locked. I think somebody spent the night in it. Great. What's going on? The other unit's completely out. It won't transfer. Hey. Hey. Go down and hit the switches, Ronald. Sure. Hey, is Karen down there with you? Yeah, she's here. I wonder if they could have got to the locals. I get nothing. They did something. Lewis! Jen says the units are out. Yeah, it looks like that. What's wrong? I mean, for how long? I don't know. Ronald? All I get is the amber flood. Were there any little clicks when you hit the green switches? Nothing. Shit. I don't want to stay. Hmm. Better have a meeting. Shouldn't somebody stay in each of the units, just in case? But once the main is all, it takes 12 hours from power work until you can get a response. Just relax, Leslie. Do now? It's been decided that you and I'll go directly overland to the Bruno Sand Dunes and meet the others that come down the river by boat. Then we'll all head for Portland. Portland? Portland, Oregon? That's right. But that's 500 miles or something. This is the overland route that Karen and I'll be taking. We're going to wait here at the dunes for the others to come up the river from Pocatello. Mm -hmm. We'll leave notes for you here and here. OK. Watch for a flag here. Mm -hmm. How's that foot? A little sort of miserable. You aren't worried, are you? No. Leslie's acting a little freaky, though. I don't know. I don't know why she wants to go back. There must be somebody. You're not going through Twin Falls. Probably not worth the effort. We'll cut the Shoshone. You hear about the radio batteries? Yeah. I guess I have to use flares every night. Hey, Karen. Michael. Audrey needs some help for that tent. OK. Karen, there's a next open number for you. OK, thanks, Michael. Hey, Ronald, look what they gave me. Who? Arthur and Jan. It comes apart like a puzzle. Well, they don't know how to do it yet. They're going to show me when we see them again. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's nice. I'm just jealous. Grow up. Look, you should have had this all packed by now. We're about ready to go. Why? 
Well, when I have one, I'm trying to think of where we might be. I hope it'll be warm enough. We'll have to have a sanitary place with water. They always need water. We could talk about it when the time comes. And if it doesn't, it won't be the end of the world. It's not very funny, Ronald. Oh, shit. What's the matter? Oh, I dropped the ring. It's all undone. Do you know how to do them? No, I don't. Up here tonight. It's getting dark. Guess you won't have to sleep on those rocks again. You want to zip them together? Ronald, you can do anything you want, you know. We've got to get this camp together. It's close to flare time. Somebody inside. Shut up. Waiting for us. <laughs> well, I can't see a thing. There's dust inside of this. How could dust get inside of here? Never mind.
close to 100 cars down there. Southern Pacific, I think. Take us about an hour to get there and back. Could be worth it. Might be something we could use. What's the matter? I don't want to go look at a goddamn train. I'm tired. For Christ's sake. Stay here, then. Here. I'll be back. Okay. Come on, Cleve. Let's go. Okay, wait one second, him? okay? Let's go. Where's Lewis? We're ready to start moving again. He's not coming with us. What? I said Lewis isn't coming with us. Here, Cleve. He left this note for you. He's dying, Cleve. His kidneys are hemorrhaging. He says he'll just be a problem to us from now on. He's helped us as much as he can, and he wants to be alone now, so leave him be. That's ridiculous. Now, which way did he go? He told me not to tell you. You couldn't possibly find him now anyway. He wants to be alone now! Elgin, don't look for him! Hey, Lewis! Refrigerators, probably 50,000 gallons of chartreuse high-gloss enamel. We could paint Portland. I used to have this girlfriend at the clinic that had chartreuse here. Well, I don't suppose it was empty. No. It's not empty. They were all in plastic bags on their way somewhere. Probably a dumping point at the line. I think they were coming from the coast.
dream. How do you like that for a boy? For a what? Boy or girl. I suppose it doesn't matter since we have a fresh start now. You call the boys girls' names and the girls boys' names and nobody will know the difference. Names, I mean. They'll grow up, multiply, do the same act all over again. Only they probably won't be able to have an encore like we did. I wonder what we use for last names. I'm a woman, you know. That gives you the right to have a bunch of kids? Yes. A bunch, a whole bunch if I want. It's different now. What's different about it? It's the beginning, right? And the beginning is as much a part of the end as the middle. It's a better kind of beginning. A different kind of beginning. A different kind of middle. And a shiny new end. So where have you been? Someplace. Start a fire. We're having some of that soup stuff again. Okay. They're two days late, huh? Yeah. They should have been here today, even if they had to walk. Ronald, I have something to tell you. Really? Yeah, I think I'm pregnant. By Arthur. We made it a few days after that thing with my sister happened. Anyway, I'm about a week and a half late now. It doesn't mean you're pregnant. I know. I've missed before, but this is different. I just thought you should know. I guess you won't have to do anything with me anymore. I mean, I won't try to make you or anything. Think they've left yet? Who, Arthur? Yeah. Probably not. Well, when Cleve and the others come, do you think we could wait until they catch up? No, we'll stick to the plan. So what if I stay? There isn't enough food. We can't spare any. Besides, if you missed Arthur, you'd be in a mess. I have to tell him. I give my right arm for a cheeseburger right now. Think there are any cows left? I doubt it. Ronald! Look! Right there, look! It's Cleve! just a couple of kids at first, but then we followed them and found this small tribe of third-generation survivors living by the river. The oldest ones we saw were about 30. They don't live very long and can't do very much. Just sort of gurgle and bump around a lot. Most compassionate people you can imagine. No language, no government, no agriculture. Well, what do they eat? Whatever they can get in their mouth. Wild potatoes, mostly. And she's deaf. I think practically all of them were. Uh, but they were happy. Incredibly happy. And they shared everything. Some are so retarded they can't even find food for themselves. But others give them enough to get by. Rand's probably a lot smarter than the rest of them. She's almost normal except for her hearing and a slight motor retardation. You know, we find more of them on the coast. Maybe we can find a boyfriend as good as she is. 
and get them together. See if you can't have a normal child. Why don't you try with her, Cleve? I mean, not that you're perfect stock or anything. But wouldn't she be better off with your baby than somebody else's like her? I think it might be kind of interesting. Well, Jesus, I didn't mean anything by that. It just seems like it would be better. I mean, it does look like it's up to all of us now if they're all like her. Anyway, guess what, y'all? Pregnant. Not him. It was Arthur. Like it was all right with Jen. I mean, we talked about it and everything. I just thought we should have as many as we could. Lewis said he told you. He told me. Told you what? We're sterile. Sterile who? All of us. You. But that's crazy. Transferring. But I can feel it. It's permanent, according to Lewis. Karen, well, how the hell could Lewis possibly know something like that? I don't believe you. You're all liars. Okay, I'll put Ronald, how come she thinks she's pregnant? She missed a period. I think it's emotional. What do you think, Cleve? Not a chance. Especially with one of us. She was rambling on about having kids. I just couldn't tell her. I'm sorry. Sure, she's gonna be all right. Let her think about it. It came kind of fast. She has to figure it out by herself. Same as all of us. I'm gonna go take a look at those boats. Sure. Hard to navigate? Nah. We hit bottom a lot, and it's murder when you got aboard it. I mean, they weren't exactly built for running rivers with. And I think we're kind of screwed if we don't find rubber rafts at the airbase. We might have to spend the winter in some pretty cold country. We can do it. There's stuff growing up there. Depends on the competition. Think there's many of them? Probably all over the place from here to China. Dangerous? Hope not. Found a pistol and some boxes of bullets. They didn't seem to know what it was. Yeah, but Boyce, you might have some real bastards. You know, I think the winters must be really bad, because they burnt everything they can get their little idiot hands on. How long do you think it'll take us to get to Bonneville? A couple of weeks. Add two weeks if we wait for Arthur somewhere along the way. Big on skipping rocks? Not especially. The distance between each skip gets shorter and shorter and shorter. Then it sinks. If you get a good rock, one that's not too flat, you get a lot of skips out of it. It's a good rock. It stays out there a long time. Okay.
you tell Arthur and Jennifer? Lewis wasn't sure he should tell anybody at first. Then at the rest point, just before we left the others, he told me. He was going to tell them the next day. This isn't fair. You haven't even got a goddamn dress. Hey, we're having a campfire. I think I'll stay here tonight. I don't think you have to leave anything behind. Just have a beautiful time, along with all the other drunk litter in the universe. And say goodbye. I don't know what else to tell you. Perpetuation and all the crap that goes with it is a big hoax anyway.
You can't go any place. They don't work. Karen, they don't work. supposed to come back? Will you help me, please? You've got to help me get back before all of this happened. They're all dead. Please show me. Just, just show me what to do. Jensen! Jensen, come here quick! Son of a bitch. she get in? I don't know. She came from nowhere. Yes. Yes. She's in here, sir. Miss? You in there. Come on out. Miss, you in there. Come out right now.
me. They were using everything. Everything was being used up. I'm a woman, you know. All of us. You. We could just lay them. Put our arms around them. Karen. Karen? It's all right now. It's all right. I just can't remember any interruptions. I mean, it's so hard to remember. Karen!
Are you sure that was one of them? Of course it was. What happens when we run out? We just put one in. We won't need another for quite a ways. I didn't mean that. I mean, what if we run out of all of them and we can't even find any? They'll figure out another way for us. We can use something else. But what if that's too hard or expensive? And what if they decide they can't change? We'll use each other then, won't we?